we don't have much time. We gotta start. Dinky's back, I hope. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Uh, tonight, we've got two Windows 3 games. The first of which is a sequel, kind of, I guess, to, to Rodney's Fun Screen, which is the game we played a couple weeks ago with Dinky in it. And I really hope that Dinky is also in this one. That would be great. Uh, Wolf, thanks for the sub. And Ralph, thanks for the sub. Uh, yeah, I really hope Dinky's in this one. This one's called Rodney's... Rodney's something... Rodney's Wonder Window? Or it's, it's something with a W. I don't know. But we're going to check it out. Um, and then we've got another one after that. Uh, what, what was I going to say? I'm still a little sick. So you might hear that in my voice and I might cough a little bit. But I'm, I'm feeling relatively better. Sonic Heroes fan, thank you very much for the sub. All right, let's 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 get into it. Also, Spoonie, thank you too. And Tragicomical, thank you guys as well. All right. And Harley Quinn, thank you very much, guys. All right, Rodney's Wonder Window, I assume, is what this is called. Pardon me while I do a little test. All right, well, that's okay. I tested this and that error came up before, so I, I think I just hit okay and then we're gonna be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let me, I'm just moving the windows around. Uh, cast form, thank you. Cats from Sat. I thought I said cast form. Thank you very much for the sub. All right, let's, uh, one more sec. Just let me move the window down here. All right, are we good? I think we're good. All right, let's see. Yeah, handler not defined. My file, m m right string, slow man. Squigert and Digi, thank you for the subs. That's Bart Simpson. Yep. Wonder? Window! Yes. <laughs> That's not Archibald, the fun screen man. All right. Yeah, this is Rodney's Wonder Window, and it looks like there's so many activities in this one. Spin <laughs> oh, they got hamster. Spin attack and epic. Thank you for the subs. More. More. <laughs> fun art, fun future. What do you know about the future, Rodney? Big nose. Oh, but we. More. We just feel thank you for the sub. We're just gonna have to go through them in order. I feel like there's a lot. This is this is a lot of activities. All right. Well then, let's just fucking start. Let's go with fun. Woo woo. Oh woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Was there one called 3D Dinky? Oh. I, this is a little loud. I mean, this is fun. Okay. I'm- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was that- was that the whole game? Also, Billy Ray Cyrus official, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Did we miss something there? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what is RG- Oh, that's his initials, right? Rodney Gr Greenland? Greenblatt. If you weren't here last time, this dude who made this game went on to do the art for Parappa the Rapper. So that's why some of this might look familiar. All right. Is there anything I can click on in there or is that just it? <laughs> this is... I could just leave this up for four hours. All right. There's nothing else here. There's nothing else on- that's- that's the whole game. Alright, well, maybe this is gonna be shorter than I thought. Wonder? Wonder? Alright, next- I really dislike this man, and I don't like how you can see his teeth. Alright, let's do Fly Guy. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. Oh, we're gonna have to watch this each time. Alright. Snip, thanks for the sub. Is was that it? Like, is is there any variation? If I all right, he doesn't take off at zero. He takes off at four. Does anything else happen if I like click the fly or? Nope, there's no variation. All right, well it's good. I have two two games planned for tonight. Who is that? All right, let's do spider. Woo woo! Five, four. 
How do we unlock Fun Future? Oh my god. Is the volume okay, by the way? <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Is any of this interactable? That was cute. I don't... Wonder? I do feel a little bit better today. Yeah, thank you. Kiss plus fight. Woo, woo. <laughs> okay. Five, <four. laughs> sure. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what? Kiss... Kiss plus fight is exactly what I would have named that piece. This is just a collection of short films, I I think, honestly. That's probably what I would have called that. Kiss plus fight. I think that was good. Alright, should we move on to future? Is everyone caught up? Do we need to re redo any of these? I think we're all good. Let's move on to future. This is the future. <laughs> what are you? What are you? <laughs> what do you mean, bright American dream for every day? <laughs> what am I supposed to? What am I supposed to take away from this? What was I supposed to learn? Wonder. Rodney, Rodney, what do you want? What do you want your audience to learn from that? I, I guess that's it. Next up is roadside. Please visit Rodney's roadside attraction. A fun indoor experience for the open-minded of all ages. Over 203 exhibits with one low admission price, free parking, delicious food, and so much stuff to look at. Fun. Bring the whole family. Wait, there's a next button. I think this will take us back. What happens if we click next? It's partially cut off? Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me fix that. Um. Oh, that's why. I'm using the wrong... God damn it, Michael. I had two, I had one set up for the other game and one set up for this game, and I was using the wrong one. Hopefully you didn't miss too much. All right, um, next. See the living sculptures and... Yonderville Miniature Village. See the Can World Museum. See the Computer Art Arcade. See the Robot Rodeo. See the Knickknack Tabernacle. What? I'm really struggling to understand this, Rodney. Play your song. Play your song. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Stay all day. Meet Rodney at his workshop. <laughs> Buy stuff at the gift boutique. Dina's Diner. Feast on unusual vegetarian foods in Dina's Diner. Order from the surprise children's menu. It's air conditioned. Was that it? <laughs> I'm really confused, but okay. Wonder? Window! Alright, well he said window that time. Sometimes he just says wonder, but okay. Wiggle life. I'm so excited for Wiggle Life. Woo woo, woo, woo indeed. Five, Let's go. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Calm down. I can't focus. Wiggle Life. I- I don't have any commentary. I feel like I'm being put into a trance. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
I'm really confused by this one. I really like that dude. All right, well, I think we have to manually leave this one. I'd love to see a speed run of Rodney's Wonder Window. All right, let's go back. I think that's it. Wonder Window. All right, next up is House. Is it Dinky's house? Maybe. We'll see. Why is he counting down to one now? I, I don't get it. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the horrors of society. <laughs> what is it shooting? I can't even. I can't. Are those more houses? <laughs> yes, we have places to live, but at what cost? Holy shit, this is a long one. No, these are just houses. Okay, does this does this end or Oh my god, now what? Th this is a long one. They're too small. Oh. <laughs> what am I fucking looking at? <laughs> I feel like I'm having a fever dream. What is this? No, stop. You don't have to do I can click stop. This is this is a, a like fucking PSA about the dangers of industrialization. We need to let the planet breathe. We need to give it designated space for trees to grow. We can't keep fucking tearing down forests and building apartment complexes. Stop. Trans Transconfiguration. That was the most haunting. I wasn't- I wasn't expecting House to be the most haunting of all of his tales thus far, but it really was very scary. Um, I- I don't know if I'm able to continue, but I- I think we're going to have to try. Next up is a game called- or a film called Tooley Bugs. <laughs> Alright, let's- <laughs> let's do Tooley Bugs. I just want to see those aliens return. They go, wow. Life. <laughs> what are you trying to tell us, Rodney? Episode 512, Mating Habits of Tule Bucks. <laughs> Every spring, in the tube grass marshes of the bump country, <laughs> the tiny tule bugs begin their mating process. Oh no. Oh no. Rodney? First, the male Thule must locate a clearing in the grass suitable for mating. Yeah. Rodney, this is a kid's game, right? Am I supposed to help him do this? He secretes a sticky glue, which has a bad smell <laughs> that attracts the females. Then he waits. Soon, female Thule bugs approach. I don't like that. Eventually, one becomes stuck in the male glue. The male rushes in, swells, and mounts her. What? Exhausted, he collapses on the ground. Next bit! The female frees herself, and within two weeks, will have young. The male must awaken before he is devoured by hungry birds. <laughs> Uh, 
Rodney, please no more. As weeks go by, no more. The female Thule experiences discomfort <laughs> as the knoblings on her <laughs> hands enlarge. The knoblings! On day 13, the knoblings are almost fully formed. They begin to cry for food. <laughs> the next day, they break off. Rodney. <laughs> Although exhausted, the female must begin to search for food. <laughs> Instinctively, the young sprout legs and follow the mother. No, oh, look out, knoblings. <laughs> Tuli, Tuli. <laughs> While feeding on the succulent horn flowers, the knoblings stay close to the mother. <laughs> Ever watchful for predators, the male supervises their play. Holy Julie, shit. Julie. <laughs> Julie. I'm too sick to be laughing like this. Gradually, the noblings develop into young adults. Oh. <laughs> In two months, they are ready to mate. Look at that face! Look at that face! Tuli, Tuli. I don't like this saga. This whole, the whole right side of Rodney's repertoire thus far has been very dark, and I don't like it. <laughs> Shall we move on to Data Shorts? <laughs> uh, remember, this man went on to to work on Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, where's the first 511 episodes of Tuli Bugs? All right, let's move on to Data Shorts. That face he was making. Oh, no. <sighs> Hello, Data Shorts. Switchy patterns. What the fuck? Why? Why? I, I get it. I mean, it's like a, a fucking. Pants designer game. Oh wow, those are too, those lines are too close together. Um, what was that? Could you make? Yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm really struggling to understand this, Rodney. <laughs> Dress Campbell. Dress Stewart. Royal Stewart. Catch me at the club wearing these. I'm so confused. Wooden. Walnut. Oh no. Please, God. I'm risking my Twitch account. I'm risking my Twitch account. I wouldn't put it past Rodney. I thought Rodney was a good boy, but I guess not. <sighs> what if I click it and it shows his full-on... <clears throat> his full-on penis. And then I lose my Twitch account and it's over. <laughs> Danger! <laughs> Rainbow. Ah. Ah. Whoa. Holy shit. Ah. 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 Those just aren't polka dots. That's just plain, but all right. Dots. Wow. Oh, do it again. That's pretty cool. Cartoon. Start. Funny show. Happening. 
<laughs> ah, the funny show. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. The noise on polka dots is from sunshine. I don't think that exact sound is in Mario Sunshine, is it? Oh, there is. Wait, no, that's... No, I don't think there's any other shows. I don't think you can watch any other programs on this man's trousers. Happy trails. Rodney. Rodney. F Fini. Okay. Wonder window. All right, well, data shorts was interesting. What, this is an, a new background. All right, shall we move on to art gallery? What do you got? Our gallery. I thought it was an art gallery. What do you mean our gallery? Gallery one. Click on any picture to view. Is this like your portfolio? Robots in love. Day. Information. Published by Martin Lawrence Editions. Software pixel paint. Okay. Story. Two robots, Magnavoid, oh wait, Sheffy, thank you for the sub, Terrestia, and Had, Had Givox, Free Gasket, <laughs> proposed to each other at a restaurant near Palm Beach, Florida. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Daith, Daith Wish, thank you for the sub. All right, um, Story? Two robots, Magnavoid, ter ter Terrestria, and ha Had Givox Free Gasket share an intimate moment behind the parking lot wall of the Sh Shamrock Motel. They're doing the exact same thing in the lat. It's the same image. He's still holding out those flowers. Okay. I would love to hear the story of this one. I would love to hear this. An interracial couple confront the mediocrity of suburban America land. Rodney is fucking... He's like... Rodney has awoken on a different level of existence. Okay. Oh, oh, this is a good page. This is a good page. Look at, look at, there's so much to see here. There's so much to see here. Story. To remain happy, please eat the foods you like and ignore subjective dietary information. <laughs> Rodney's trying to get everyone killed. <laughs> the silence is unsettling. Eat foods you like. Chips, fish. Pasta, meat, beans, milk, cereal, fruit, bread, poultry, cheese, enjoy, eggs, soup. <laughs> Rodney, no, you need to eat healthy. Pile, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, all right. Well, these all look very similar, but let's see what the story... Six hairdo guy. Have I not been reading the titles? Foods you like. Challenge of the suburbs. All right. Uh, six hairdo guys. Story. Uh, conservative or kooky, a new hairstyle can make you feel differently about yourself. Well, that is a very interesting story, Rodney. Thank you for sharing. Oh, well, this is a, a completely different piece. Ha six hairdo gals. Glamorous or understated, a new hairstyle can make you feel differently about yourself. All right. Out of your friends, which are you? Uh, dream house with fruit. Now, I believe this is the same house from the the previous film we watched that, that discussed the, the dangers of, of transmogrification story. Is this a dream or is it reality? Behold your destiny and eat lots of fruit. Rodney, you just told us to eat whatever we want and don't don't care what other people say. All right. All right, next. What the fuck is this? 
this is the imagining the city the spirit of milo oh the kid from from project natal overlooks the hustle and bustle of bright city in late 23rd century america land the the silence in this whole section is very ominous and i don't like it at all willow willoughby of the woods <laughs> willoughby of the woods ranger willoughby w willed wild of the putty wood park police is always alert as he surveys the gilbert valley region of the reserve okay i'm about i'm about ready to move on to the next we've already been here still life with the calculator with calculator <sighs> with the advent of new technologies the classic still life is transformed in this imaginative composition great music house how many of these pages are there rodney this fine example of anthropomorphic architecture would be an excellent addition to any busy tourist through th thoroughfare okay all right all right the magic sloop how many pages are there gallery two gallery three gallery okay we're on we're like halfway done we're we're, we're we're getting there we're getting there no you can't interact with the art at all it is not interactable the magic sloop there was once a magic sloop that sailed all alone on a vast blue green sea good good story rodney okay this one is very relatable bright dreams this is like a different font one cool fall night a young canhead went to bed early the rustling of the leaves outside his window was like a tender murmuring song that lured him to into a deep warm sleep as the golden moon lit the purple velvet sky the young canhead had five dreams <laughs> cuphead's brother canhead <laughs> chicken wagon great title good title oh my god in the first dream the young canhead watched a noisy chicken roll down a hill in a small blue wagon she squawked nervously because the wagon was rolling too fast to jump out with no way to steer and the wagon showing no signs of slowing down she began to panic then as the wagon crested a knoll that overlooked a beautiful green valley she began to relax and enjoy the ride she rolled across vast new lands passing wonderful gardens and towns delighting in the smooth steady breeze that whistled through her smiling beak that was nice that was nice uh lovely fruits oh my god no no in the second dream, the young can had wandered through a forest of geometric trees. The trees were covered with a shiny multicolored with shiny multicolored fruits. Although he was hungry, he dared not test the succulent looking on um, no 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 too long. Too long. 3D girlfriend. In the fourth dream, he saw a young canhead woman who was busy with an exciting career, but had not left enough time for love. She had gone on dates with canhead men, but she was really more interested in her work. One day, she had to go and meet a two-dimensional client who lived in storybook land. Expecting him to be shallow and superficial, she dragged herself to the meeting. To her surprise, the two-dimensional client turned out to be a very pleasant two-dimensional young man. He was witty and crisply dressed, sharp in all aspects of conversation, and a bit lonely. They immediately fell in love. Since she was an artist that only did drawings, he could work anywhere. Since he was uh, two-was two-dimensional, he could be folded up and brought along in a briefcase. In fact, she brought him everywhere she went, and he never complained about all the travel. He made many wonderful drawings inspired by her, and they loved each other forever and ever. Rodney, that was beautiful. Rodney, that was very nice. That's a good story. All right. Rock into the moon. Too long. All right. Is that it? <sighs> too long story spirit pause the video and read it if you want to read it let's get back to the other things nope nope wonder window wonder window i need sound wonder window thank you god i don't like this man all right next up is uh oh thank you zesty for the sub all right next up is a game called or movie experience called chip plus peg woo 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 woo
Rodney's Wonder Window. Hmm. Okay, go. Wonder Window. I'm, I'm sorry. Why is this is this is a very small display. Okay, but Rodney, this is really small. Can you? Once upon a time. Oh my God. Two young micro beings named Chip and Peg <laughs> danced and played. <laughs> micro beings. Wow, let's try that again. <laughs> Their world was quiet and colorful, and they liked it there. One day, they got a call from their cousin Hexagon, who uh, lived uh -huh. in an alternate dimension. Oh, of course. Come and visit me in Shapeland. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> so, the next day, they got in their wizard craft and headed out to Shapeland. <laughs> of course they did. Come and visit me in Shapeland. Oh my god. It's a little loud, Rodney. Riley, thanks for the sub. This is great. The size of this display reminds me of those old Nickelodeon Video Now devices that I got for Christmas as a. Oh, all right. Was called Bugamaloo. Of course it was. Millions of busy bugs lived there. Uh huh. And they would constantly build tall towers. Yeah. Then, because they never thought much about what they were doing. The towers would fall down. Oh no. And the bugs would have to start all over again. What will they do? Okay, alright. There's no resolution to that story, I suppose. They just drove on by. Ag and they came to Agroville, <laughs> where two different types of monsters live. Uh, always fighting. So for so long, can't hear you, Rodney. They were fighting about. Rodney, is that blood? Was that blood, Rodney? Okay. Last, they stopped for lunch in Glowy Town. <laughs> Glowy Town. Was full of emotion. It was lovely there, and all the creatures would smile. Except when something would go wrong, then they would all cry. This is horrifying. This is scary. Are they almost at their destination? Rodney? Shape. Oh, they made it to Shapeland. Okay. This is fucking insane. Finally, they arrived in Shapeland. Yeah. A wonderful place with no up or down. Okay. Their cousin Hexy lived on an angle. Welcome, Chip and Peg. <laughs> Remember Aunt Penty and our five children? Winky, Finky, Stinky, Slinky, and Trinky. Trinky! Now here is your surprise! What's my surprise? A new TV! Yes! Chip and Peg were surprised and happy. Soon they became good friends with Penty and her five children. And all went to the mall to buy each other inexpensive gifts. <laughs> and so, Chip and Peg loaded their surprise into the trunk and headed home to Hither Wonder. This is the best game I've ever streamed. All right. Wonder. Window. All right, Wonder Window. Let's let's move on. There's another page. We're only halfway done, everybody. Woo, woo. Oh, I didn't click on that. I didn't click more. I didn't click on that, Rodney. God damn it! No, we, we still have a whole another twelve activities to get to. So so buckle up. Yeah, there's another page. All right, what do we got? All right, next up is birthday. If it is your birthday today, you have a very special treat. This is just for you. Okay, stop at four that time. <laughs> Type the name of the birthday.
right person. It doesn't work. <laughs> the typing didn't work. Make a wish. Make a wish. Eat. Who is that? Who is that? That's <laughs> that's supposed to say their name. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's a good one. That was nice and short. Oh, I don't want to play it again. Unless it'll work this time. Yes. Make Let's go. Let's go. Eat it faster. Go. Okay. Okay, let's go back to, to the Wonder window. Wonder window. Next up is Holiday Fun. Alright, get ready for Holiday Fun. Okay. We have a lot of different holidays represented here. New Year's, Hanukkah, Christmas. Table day. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Okay. Merry happy. I'm. I'm sorry. Sorry. What was it? Merry happy. Mhm. Mm okay. And I want a new bicycle and a BB gun and I want a new army set and I want. Happy New Year! This game was made in 1992, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm probably the first person to ever see 2018 in this game. That's crazy. All right. Okay, let's uh, light fire. Huh. Can I decorate the tree? It's a little... Okay, all right. Light menorah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Decorate tree. Okay, that's a little much, but all right. Rodney sure likes to write his initials on everything. Have you noticed? Night. Okay. Can we talk about why the eyes stayed perfectly white? Look at that. Why? Why did you leave it like that, Rodney? I thought this was an ironic, weird Windows game. No, this is legit. This is legit. And I want a new bicycle and a BB gun and I want a new army. One <laughs> window. All right. Next up is 3D views. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing Dinky in any of this stuff, and I'm very upset about that. But let's just keep going. 3D views. Woo woo. Holy shit. Views of Can World. Well. Oh no. No, no, no. We're not doing this again. At the pond. The can dog barks out the news of the arrival of the sh shapelings to a striped perch. No, I'm not doing this again. Let's just look and see if we can find something good. That's not... Hold on. That could be him. Look. That could be. That could be Dinky. In 3D. Maybe if we click the story, we will get... We will get information. Two can-headed teenagers named Tin... Ukan... And harm damn god damn it, that's ten. God damn it. Oh oh, it's size noodles from Star Wars. 
fearsome to their enemies, but compassionate to their friends. The huge duck-billed eye stalkers roam the central plains of Canworld. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sick. I can't fucking wheeze like this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, invaders. <laughs> Land of the Owl. <laughs> oh, that was it. Okay. Okay. Woo. Wonder? Window. All right, next up is I really I hate these characters that show up. Next up is Pet Shop. Woo woo. I'm really I'm really excited for Pet Shop. Let's go. Welcome to the Robot Pet Shop. All right, well, I'm not excited for this anymore. Huh. Maybe call your pet shop something else. Where, where, where should we start? I don't look at how fast that bunny's mouth is moving. <laughs> look at his fucking mouth. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's like three different animations I've seen. Yeah, look at that. Three whole different animations. I was guessing that was going to happen, Rodney. Rodney, that's not very surprising. Okay. What do you what do you got? Are you going to stop? Are you going to stop, sir? Okay, thank you. Now, I'm confused because the hamsters in this game and I saw that there was an activity later on called hamster. So why does he get to be in, in both? This dude is unfazed. Look at him. <laughs> this dude has fucking seen the horrors of war. Jesus Christ. Only the hamster seemed to notice that, but all right. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. I'm sorry? Hey, dude. Yeah, hey, dude. What was that first thing you said? Hey, dude. No, what was that? Ugly head. No, not ugly head. That's very rude. You said, what, Tauba Bunga? Hey, shut up. No, well, that's not nice. I love you. Oh, well, all right. Ugly head. Oh, well, listen, buddy. I don't have the means of doing that. I love you. Hey, shut up. I love you. Ugly head. Hey, dude. Taubo Bunga. Taubo Bunga. Okay. All right. Let's click on this rabbit. This rabbit has looked very excited. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, not what I was expecting the rabbit. Not what I was expecting him to do at all. All right, now let's let's click on the Tooley bug. Tooley, Tooley. Oh well. Tooley, Tooley. Tooley, Tooley. Tooley, Tooley. Uh huh. Okay, please stop. <gasps> Rodney. All right, we're ending this. Wonder window. I'm done with this game. All right, next up is Sloop. Woo woo. <sighs> Once a magic sloop that navigated alone through the 
great blue green mystery uh -huh. of the sea. A stout hearted adventurer named Fortune steadied his small craft through the many storms and obstacles of the unknown. Mm -hmm. A faithful crew stood at Fortune's side. Together, they experienced <laughs> the that dude a, a of cultures from many lands, sampling exotic food and wine while maintaining great respect for the native customs. Uh huh. They <gasps> steered clear of pirates and the various unwholesome ports of dubious trade that littered the many reefs and inlets. Okay. Then, on a shadowy night. <gasps> As the magic sloop neared a mysterious lagoon of an uncharted island, huh? a devilish typhoon burst upon them. Ah! What happened? His faithful crew and the magic sloop were never heard from again. Well, well they're right. It is said that on a tranquil they were right. summer night, and after sampling much exotic food and wine, you can still see them cruising the great blue But I just saw I just saw the them. Sea. Rodney Rodney has his own store in what wait, hold on. Rodney Window. Rodney has his own store in Catskill, New York called the Rodney Shop. After playing this, I 100% believe what you just told me. Next up is a game called Bird Walk in all caps. Woo woo. Five, four. Bird Walk, click anywhere to stop it. Bird Walk, click anywhere to stop it. Tech Talk, forget it. Play it. Bird Walk, click anywhere to stop it. Play it. <laughs> this is bird walk. <laughs> is there anything is there anything to do in bird walk? Why? Can I click on Can I click on Tech Talk? I want to see what the uh Yeah, okay. I I understand. All right. What Tech Talk. The funny little bird in this animation looks like a animation. Uh needs a double speed CD-ROM drive to work fully. He is presented in a quick time movie with a high data rate data rate in the future all computers will have blindingly fast cd-rom drives loads of ram and communicate with us using brainwave com a technology that i am assured is almost ready and will ship five minutes after the paperless office is achieved <laughs> holy shit he was right <laughs> Wonder? Wonder? He knew. Oh, that's this is a scary one. Look at this thing. All right, next we're we're down to the last six, and the last one is credits. So we might only have five real ones left. This has been an experience. Let's do hamster now. Woo woo. Five, four. Hamster. H a m p s t e r. Hello, hamster. All right. All right then. Oh, hello. Uh-huh. You going to do anything? You just going to keep Look his cheeks. This is kind of cute. That was scary. What was that face? Are you just gonna do that again? Oh, okay. Alright. That wasn't a very long exercise, hamster.
This is a real virtual pet. This hamster is my responsibility now, and we can't stream anything else because I have to take care of him. You have to- we have to stay. We have to stay. He's very cute. I like this game. This is my favorite one. This is great. Alright, but I am leaving now. Okay. I'm really excited to get to this one. But, uh, let's do Houseplant. Digital Houseplant. Welcome to Digital Houseplant. Introduction. Digital Houseplant is like a real houseplant. It must be watered at least once every five days or it will dry out and die. When you start Digital Houseplant for the first time, you must plant the seeds. This causes tiny, a tiny file to be written to your hard drive that will tell DHP, Digital Houseplant, when the seeds were planted. Each day you open DHP, it will have grown, reaching full bloom in about five weeks. Bug spray and fertilizer are provided, but please use with caution. Click the recommendations button for further help and tips on your plant status. This is too complicated. Seeds. I'm gonna, I wanna, oh, there we go. There you go. That looks, that looks good. All right, um, seed, reseed. Oh, I see, okay, I seed. Seeds! Ooh, super grow. Ooh, water. Recommendations. Drag the bag of seeds over, I already did that. All right, well, I guess we're done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wonder? Wonder. All right, finally, we get to I think that's Rotato Head. Woo woo. Five, four. <gasps> yes! No! There's a there's a Beebus! What what does this do? Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Why does it go? <laughs> the difference. <laughs> the difference between 35 and 36. <laughs> what do these do? Does it just re. Oh, you can change the, the fucking. Look at this. Smoking! No, stop! Hey! No, the sideways song is better. Is this a Rodney Greenblatt game? Yes, it is! <laughs> it absolutely is! Alright, good. <laughs> good! <laughs> Rodin, thank you very much for continuing your sub. Alright, next up is fire. I have a feeling this is just gonna simulate a fireplace and that's it. But we'll take a look. Set burn time. Yep. Two minutes. Light. That's just a screenshot from a different activity up there. They even have the little the thing at the bottom right that you use to go back to the main menu. This is nice. This is nice. I like this. It's like I'm really there. Honestly, this is this is probably really nice to just put up on a big big screen television in the middle of the winter if you don't have a fireplace. 
All right. Well, Rodney, I had a great time staying at your fireplace, but I need to I need to leave now. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Wonder. Window. All right. Big nose is the last <laughs> real activity, so let's check it out. Oh boy, big nose. <laughs> okay, let's let's begin. You want to put this duck in there? <laughs> this is the best one yet. That was Pepper. You should sneeze. How did they choose which... What, what item? This is the Rodney shop if you want to see it. Wait, it's real? <sighs> There's no way. Sloths, thank you very much for continuing your gift sub. What, really? Holy shit! I would like to go here. I would like to go here very much. And look, there's his Parappa stuff. Yo, Rodney's sick. He's living the dream. Yep. 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 All right, well, this is a great activity. You can just do it as many times as you want. He resets. Oh, there's dynamite. Did was there dynamite last time? This is really fun. I'm having a good time. Corn went in last last time too. Not even on purpose. I wonder what that means. All right. Well, that was fun. Okay, I think we've played all of the activities now. So let's click on credits. Woo woo. Woo woo. What was that noise? Wonder Window, the credits, Rodney A. Greenblatt. All graphics, sounds, songs, concepts, and animation. David Anderson, technical advisor, chief engineer, programmer, and enthusiastic friend who even after taking care of baby Noel all day still had the patience necessary to deal with macro mind director. A special thank you goes to Marty and Janet. Wait a minute. Isn't that the name of the fucking fake parents from that one episode of Spongebob? <laughs> Janet and Marty. <laughs> Binder and Martin Lawrence editions for the vision that was necessary to publish my computer generated artwork and in doing so allowed me to buy my first Mac 2 and explore the possibilities of digital artwork. Marty funded and now owns the prototype Wonder Window, a sculpture with a color Macintosh built in that was first exhibited at Gracie Mansion Gallery in 1990, installed in their home and equipped with its own phone line and modern and modem. I continue to upload my new creations, keeping the original Wonder Window alive and fresh. If you are interested in owning your own Wonder Window sculpture, contact Gracie Ma Ma Mansion Fine Arts at, well, there's a phone number. That leads me to thank Gracie Mansion herself for supporting all my endeavors and, in, and insane schemes and the ability to sell my artwork even in the most economic conditions. The Wonder Window is dedicated to my wife, Dina... There, that was a diner named Dina's Diner. And my daughters, Cleo and Kimberly. Without their op opinions, comments, laughter, and patience, I would have never managed. Additional inspiration. Jim Stark, longtime friend and advisor who has challenged me to take my computer art to the open market. Linda Stone, new man of Apple Computer, my number one computer art fan, and the best Rodney Power super... <laughs> and the person who introduced me to all kind of great people including Bob Stein Bob Stein oh my god there's a lot of a lot of people here huh anything 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 funny in here additional advice David Poole Jim and Sharon Ludke Bobby mm, 
R. Lee Greenblatt, my dad. Honestly, this was a- this was a- This was a good game. I had a good time with this. I just looked at the website for Rodney's shop, and apparently he's selling art from Wonder Window. That's- that's cool. That's cool. Is he selling it online? It has something about transconfiguration. Go back. All right. Hold on. Where, where did you see it on? Like the last page? I played this for an entire hour? What the fuck? Really? Music in transconfiguration from... Oh, that's just the, the credits for that. Um... Okay. Well, this was this was really funny. I had a good time with this. I'm very That's just Joey. That's Joey from Blackwell. This guy's a time traveler. Quit. Don't turn me off. No. <laughs> All right. Well, that was uh that was Rodney's Wonder Window. If you enjoyed that, feel free to check out the Rodney's Fun Screen stream I did recently. It's archived on YouTube. Um, I'm going to do a quick BRB, and I will be back with another Windows 3 game. This one is called Zeep. And if there's time after that, Rayman. But I don't know how long Zeep is, so maybe we'll just play Zeep. I don't know. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Please hold.